Well, I can tell you it's been a quiet day here at EWU, and I've seen a few students hang out around here ever since the campus was reopened around 4 o'clock. Now, earlier today, police and canine units were out here making rounds around this campus. I'm on one side of this area where you would see like Greek life hanging out on side of this, uh, this university. Now, EWU officials say it's been, uh, it's been in contact with Jacksonville Sheriff's Office and the FBI. Now, just a few hours ago, the HBCU tweeted this photo, and it reads, we will not be intimidated. EWU says it received an anonymous bomb threat to the campus around 3.55 in the morning. Now, in response, the university canceled in-person events and classes until further notice. Now, students were asked to stay home while JSO swept through the entire campus four times today. Now, First Coast News caught up with one student. She describes the recent threats at other HBCUs as disheartening. And then a bomb threat was made here. Chandra Bethea couldn't believe someone would actually do it. I would think um, that it's kind of like a repeat of history, kind of like uh, in the 60s and civil rights and when, you know, people uh, would bomb churches and black churches or uh, black residents. So um, honestly, I, I believe it's an attack on that level. Now, even though the campus is open again, EWU says dinner will be served to students from now till 730 at the dining hall. Real quick, I do see one security officer out here doing another round over here around this campus. Now, even though the campus is still open, EWU officials ask students to remain vigilant. For now, we're live in Jacksonville. I'm Tristan Hardy, First Coast News on your side.